Hey guys, um, a lot of you have seen me posting a chart that looks like this, and I know that there was some confusion about these um, overlays. I didn't actually write these. These, I think, come with um, TradingView. And the ones that I use are like an older version of these, but I just figured out what you need to do to configure these so that they look like the ones that you'll see on my chart. If you've seen my charts, my charts look like, um, let me pull it up here. My charts look like this. It's basically the same thing. And so, um, except that mine say NTPC, and when you go into the settings, you can you can change the calculation between true range and trading range. So it's the same indicator. I didn't realize that, but it's exactly the same indicator. It's just that, I don't know, maybe I have an older version. So if you wanna get your chart to look like this, what you have to do is, um, you go over here to this top thing here, new chart layout, and that just gives you a clean, brand new chart, just like this. And then you're gonna go over here to the uh, indicators tab. You're gonna click on that. I've already got mine <coughs> set as a favorite, but you just you can search for it here. Just multi, there it is, multi time period, multi time period chart, and it'll come up. And then once you once you have it, you can save it as a favorite and then you'll pull that up there. I use three of them. So there's one for the monthly, one for the weekly and one for the daily. And then you go in here and this is important here. You have to go where it says auto time frame, deselect that um, on all of them. And also, I don't I don't really like these like turquoise and ruby sort of color. So I go and I change them to just the plain Jane green. And I think the red is already the red that I like, like Coca-Cola red. Um, the calculation has to be high, low range, not true range, not high Kanashi range, so that you get the actual high and low range or the trading range on each one of those overlays. Um, and then that's it, you click okay, and you do that for all of them. So there's the monthly, um, the next one is obviously gonna be the weekly. So first remove auto time frame. go to weekly, one week, I'll change the color. And then okay, and then the last one is going to be the daily auto time frame. Remove that. Go to day. Okay, make sure it's high low. I changed the color on that one too. And boom, there you have all of those overlays. Now you'll notice that the inside the candles there um, are kind of blending in, and you you don't really see the wicks very well. So in order to fix that, what you have to do is you go over here to the little cog wheel right here, little gear icon or whatever chart properties. Click on that, make sure you, you're in the symbols window here. And um, again, I like the colors of my candles to be green and red. They're just the classic green and red. And this is this is where um, what you wanna do, you, you wanna make sure you do this so that the candles really pop through those overlays. The borders have to be black and the wicks have to be black. And then once you've done that, Click OK, and now you can see how clearly visible each one of those hourly candles is on the inside of each of these daily and weekly and monthly overlays. So, um, man, I hope this uh, I hope this helps. Some of y'all were trying to get this chart and couldn't figure out how to do it, and I myself was uh, not really sure with these new versions of these, but that seems to be it right there. So um, I hope this helps, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments.